Hey YouTube, it's James Nice and here and I want to show you what I got signed during the um TNA base brawl June sixteenth or June fifteenth. First there's Shrema Tiggy, I got it signed by Jimmy J, Kenny King, Gunner, Bobby Roode, and then JB. His autograph was weird, but I guess he had to make it small or it could fit on the ticket and Garrett bitch off. And I'm not too happy about that since he signed on the back. Because I'm hanging it over there with the other tickets. I got this uh, sweet cover of AJ Styles. Um, wrestler. With him on the cover. I had to punch the Pope with Ric Flair. And Shawn Michaels on the back. But I'm going to frame that one. And then Kurt Angle and Mr. Kennedy 2-pack crossed the line. And there was only they were only selling 50 of these. And if you bought one, you're going to meet them and get... This and something else signed, and I'll show you that something else in a minute. But, um, yeah, I was lucky that I got one of those. There was only 50 selling. Wait, let me split it up with the meat and glue at the beginning stuff. Alright, here's what I got signed at the beginning of the show. I shouldn't have done it. I should do it in order. I got Kenny King, Bobby Root to sign it. And I got Bobby Root to sign my Bound for Glory 2005. X Division. Best of X Division signed by Chris Sabin. Mickey James signed my Backlash. And she kept my freaking Sharpie. But that's okay, I had the four. And Austin Aries signed this. Wrestling Almanac from 2013. And the messed up thing is, he wouldn't sign. Let's see if I can, it's over here in this stack. This. FIP Emergence Episode 1. And he's on the cover. He said he wasn't allowed to sign TNA, or only, he said he was only allowed to sign TNA stuff. Mickey James signed that. But, that's okay. At least I still got an autograph album. And then, next was the Kennedy and Kurt Angle signing. And, um, I got him to sign the figure and the Survivor Series 2006. I still can't really tell what it says. Don't know if it says Anderson or Kennedy. I don't know what it says on the bottom. And then I got Kurt Angle to sign this sick cover even though he didn't win. He's on the cover of it. His signature looks really weird. And then after that, Velvet Sky was signing and she was the only one that signed for free. But I think you could only get one thing signed and you had to hand it to the big security guard dude. And then... Next, there was, um, this, uh, well, I got Jimmy J's during the one on the way to Kurt Angle signing, I'm pretty sure. And then, um, there was this VIP thing, and you get to go to, during intermission, and it was $50, and you got to meet B Bully Ray, Devon, James Storm, AJ Styles, and Jeff Hardy. And I didn't really want to pay for it, but there was this person I was talking to in line at the um, uh, first part, or meet and greet at the beginning, and then the Mr. Kennedy one. And I told him that if you don't have a second person, because it was $50 for two people, and they were only selling 20 And um, um, I said, if you don't have a second person, I, I'll give you like 10 bucks or I can go with you. And so I got to go for like barely any. And I was wanting to meet AJ Styles. So I'll go ahead and just show you this again. AJ Styles. Gunner signed my ticket. Bully Ray signed right there. And Devon signed there. Bully Ray and Devon signed the WrestleMania 2000. So did Jeff Hardy. 
and Jeff Hardy signed this. The Hardy Boys Leap of Faith DD and then James Storm signed, but well she really wouldn't have signed in black. And then I should have got them to sign this in black. But that's okay. And funny thing is, I was prepared for the first two, or like the third for the AJ Styles and the Kurt Angle one. Like the AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, Devon Bubba. Or Bully Ray, James Storm, and Gunner, but I wasn't prepared for the Velvet Sky. I had to put all my stuff down in the middle of the floor. It was just right by a concession stand, or I mean a merchandise stand. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I got to meet her too. Anyways, you know if it's very brief. Um, and then. It was after, but uh, first, they didn't say who was going to be at the meet and greet, so we had to go all the way around the building, all the way up these stairs, and you couldn't see who was up there until, um, um, you got up there, and I didn't know who was going to be up there, so I was flipping through the thing that I had full of the covers, and I got all the covers back on now. But, um, yeah, but I just decided to go getting this, 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 and then Kenny King signing my ticket. Garrett Bischoff, since I didn't have anything for him, but I'll try to make separate videos for each wrestler and then have me show, showing the footage of me talking to them or whatever, autographing. Like, the only person I can't do that for is... Jimmy J and James Storm, because for the James Storm one, I didn't get to record because I forgot, because I was being nice and I took a picture for someone and I set my camera down, and then I forgot to start it recording again when uh, I was meeting uh, James Storm, but that's okay. The yeah, this is all I got signed. I think I got a ton of stuff signed. The AJ Styles. Jeff Hardy, Devon and Bubba, James Storm and Gunner thing was normally 50 but I got it for 10 Um the Kurt Angle and Mr. Anderson was $20 if you got the figure. And $20 is pretty much what the figure retails for, I'm pretty sure. And then, uh, uh, during, or not during it, but before the show, Velvet Sky. She was the only free one. And then, um, I met, uh, um, good. I was gonna say, yeah, never mind. I don't even remember what I was gonna say, but. Yeah, this is all the stuff I got autographed. I'm happy I brought a ton of stuff. And, yeah, that's about it. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.